You may have seen energy trucks along River Road right next to the Louisiana Arts and Sciences Museum today. It comes after a cable fault caused the museum to lose power, something they dealt with for days. News News Calista Matrician has more on why it took so long to fix. We were in a staff meeting and uh, we discovered the the power just went out. Serena Pandos and, uh, is the executive you know, director at the Louisiana time. Arts and Science Museum. She describes the moment they lost power on a Thursday afternoon. When the museum goes without power, there's a lot of concerns. Pandos says one of those concerns is ruining ancient history due to a lack of climate control. Crews with Entergy work to get a giant generator up and running. After hours, utilities still weren't restored. We had several hundred school children uh, booked for museum tours and hands-on activities that very next day. So we just determined that we were going to have a great day, that we were going to make it a great day. The science wing and the planetarium completely in the dark. Elevators and other equipment powerless. But natural light presented other opportunities. Art activities, a trip to the Triceratops, and an extra spooky visit with an ancient mummy. Come the next day, the museum's still without power. Entergy crews once again working to get it fixed. They say it was a faulty underground cable that made this job extra challenging. The museum was expecting over 12,000 people for its annual Very Merry Museum event. A larger crowd, a sleepless staff, and safety concerns causing them to cancel it. We had two school buses outside this morning from, uh, you know, a parish waiting in line to get in. And so, uh, you yeah. know. It hurts. <laughs> they weren't the only ones disappointed. Came here to see to to see everything at the museum and play fun activities. The museum made sure their trip wasn't entirely ruined. Over 50 hours without power, and still they filled faces with smiles. Pando says it's the impact they have that makes a difference. It just makes it all the more contagious when we see those light bulbs go off, literally. <laughs> no puns intended here talking about power. In Baton Rouge, Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2. And some good news as of tonight, power has been restored.